This is the sickest flatworm in Grimm. She is both male and female at the same time, and this ability has become a tool for her to make money. On this day, Flatworm came to the pub disguised as a beautiful woman. She deliberately showed her sadness to attract men's attention. Soon a man took the bait, but the man didn't know that the beautiful woman before him was actually a monster. The Flatworm monster took off his coat and went into the bathroom to take a shower. The man couldn't wait to get undressed, but at that moment, a strong man with a gun suddenly came in. He claimed to be the beautiful woman's husband. The man was so shocked by the scene that he didn't know what to do. To get Linus to let him go, the man promised to give him all the money he had. Then he fled in a hurry, but when he got to the door, the man noticed that his mobile phone was missing from his pocket. After calming down, the man suddenly realized that he had been cheated. At the same time, the flatworm monster had turned back into a woman. He'll change his place to continue his deception. Unexpectedly, as she was leaving the house, she was stopped by a man. The man threatened her to give back her mobile phone and money. Otherwise, he would call the police. It ended up pissing off the flatworm monster. The next moment, the bug monster revealed its original form. It grabbed the man's hand and rubbed the slime all over the man's face. The burning sensation was so intense that the man was in agony. The skin of his face began to fester. He died in the street. The next day, Nick and the others arrived at the scene. The man's face was completely disfigured, as if it had been corroded by concentrated sulfuric acid. According to the forensic examination, the victim had been corroded by a sticky substance in his lungs, and then other organs were corroded. He died of suffocation. Apparently, it's the grim creatures again. To find out the cause of the man's death, Nick and his men went to an apartment. It's where the victim was last seen. They searched the room. They found the victim's mobile phone under the sofa. Apparently, the owner of the flat was involved in the man's death. According to the caretaker, this apartment was rented to a beautiful woman, so they plan to start their investigation from here. But the fingerprints taken from the apartment, they don't belong to a woman. It was a man called Linus, and he has a history of fraud. It looks like a gang robbery to catch the killer as soon as possible. Nick immediately asked Uncle Wolf for help. He hoped that Uncle Wolf could act as bait to help the police catch the murderer. Uncle Wolf was a little confused. It's a hermaphroditic flatworm monster from the world of Grimm. Whenever there's no money, flatworms take the form of women and come to the pub in search of new prey. And when she tries to pick up a man, and the man just walks away, so the flatworm had to move on and turn to Uncle Wolf. Uncle Wolf immediately realized that this was the man they were looking for. To catch the real murderer, Uncle Wolf had to pretend to follow the woman home. He saw the flatworm enter the bathroom. Uncle Wolf immediately sensed the danger. At that moment, the flatworm turned into a man and came in with a gun. Uncle Wolf waved his hand. He signaled to Nick to come up quickly. Then Uncle Wolf Wolf appeared in his true form. He pounced on the flatworm monster. By the time Nick and his men arrived, the flatworm monster had already escaped through the window. Nick immediately jumped out of the window and chased after it. To avoid Nick's pursuit, the flatworm had turned back into a woman. When Nick arrived, he found only the man's clothes and a pair of diamond earrings in them. Little did Nick know at the time that the real murderer was the same person. When he returned to the flat, the woman in the bathroom was gone. While they were puzzled, Nick suddenly thought he had read about a kind of hermaphroditic flatworm monster that could change from one sex to the other. So Nick guessed that they might be the same person, but it was just a hunch. At this point, the flatworm monster has once again set its sights on new prey. Just as they were about to head back to their flat, the detective stopped the men for investigation. The flatworm realized something was wrong. He turned and fled, but it didn't get very far. Nick stopped him, but the flatworm wouldn't admit it. Nick had to say he was a grim, but the woman wasn't afraid. Instead, she revealed her true form. At that moment, Nick pulled out his crossbow and shot the flatworm. The flatworm didn't know what to expect, and in the next instant, the flatworm fell to the ground. He turned back into a male form. Nick and his men took him back to the police station. Even though all the evidence pointed to Linus, but he still refused to confess. He even tried to evade arrest by changing form, but he failed several times. It turns out that the flatworm monster is a hermaphrodite. They've always loved each other. But now, under the effect of the potion, flatworms can no longer transform. They can only stay in their male form.